Let's go by and get down real slick, man. I hope the kids ain't around this honey. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to a beautiful morning here at Checking These Buttons. It is none other than HT Horny Tuesday. Y'all already know how we get down. Let's go. Now, ladies and gents, on today's discussion or debate, I should say, we got a little bit of everything. We got a gumbo pot. We got a plethora of different things. We got some, uh, we, what the hell do we got? That's right now, remember, we got a little bit of drama. We got a little bit of shots fired, and we got a little bit of disrespect, as in Dr. Disrespect. All right, so this one starts off right now when Dr. Disrespect posted this the other day, actually this last weekend, and I know, first of all, I don't think we've ever even said that name on this show. I've known him, of course. Everybody knows who this dude is, but never really talked about any of his stories yet until now. I saw this debate, had to talk about it because I really want to get down to the bottom of it to see what y'all think. Anyway, he posted this saying simply, mobile gamers aren't real gamers. And of course, that sent a damn ripple effect through everywhere pretty much not just the fgc but gamers in general shooters all that good stuff and of course mobile gamers if you will people a lot of them up front were like yeah no lies detected nothing but facts true story like you know there was a lot of people that pretty much agreed with the statement and of course you got the other side especially the mobile gamers that are standing up pretty much saying no this is a lie or this is bullshit like hot jukes right here that posted this saying meanwhile us mobile gamers are traveling across the world competing for some of the biggest prize pools in gaming don't hate us doc we love you aiming on the screen is intimidating but i'll help you and why some look at it as pretty much a weak take or call dr disrespect himself a weak individual others seeing it you know like it's not a fact it's just an opinion. As a matter of fact, it's an arrogant one to say the least. Then somebody by the name of Paul Toddkill brings up a good point right here. He says, ignoring that the most popular game on earth and the largest esports is played on mobile, I expected more, man. Not the cutting edge gaming senses you want to see from the 2X. And then somebody by the name of Ryan actually responds to that saying, I mean, people who cheat on their wives aren't real gamers either. Oh, damn, that was some fucking... Those are some adultery shots. Like, real talk, I, I guess maybe there's some history there because I saw some people also posting stuff saying, like, that's old news. So maybe there's some history there with Dr. Disrespect. I don't know. Personally, I think that's a fucking low blow because we're just talking about video games right now. Opinions in video games. And this dude brings up some personal shit, so... I mean, straight up bad taste. And people kind of comment on that pretty much kind of in the joking fashion, saying if you even have a wife to begin with, you're not a true gamer. Real gamers don't have time for women. And then of course you do see some come at that dude saying like, yo, either it was uncalled for or you're always gonna find like a guy like that responding with some bullshit. And then they seem to take the argument in a different direction as far as Twitch and streaming. Pretty much kind of getting to the point of if you're not on big on Twitch, if you don't stream, then technically you can't be a true gamer. And right Right here Kraken kind of starts that point off which we read just now he said it's not a fact it's an opinion and quite an arrogant one Oliver responds said no it's facts and then somebody by the name of Young Buck says yes it's facts but maybe you can change my mind by directing me to a big time mobile streamer on Twitch oh wait and then people like Mr. Gink right here actually post some damn charts they're like yo look how big mobile is they're like large and in charge in this bitch and he says pretty sure mobile makes up half of the gaming market revenue the other half is split by PC and console so like you are in the minority of gamers how does that feel and then of course he follows it up with this chart right here the 2018 global games market and as you can see global gaming is definitely dominant it's large and in charge now I don't know exactly how accurate this chart is or anything like that but I think it's safe to say that global gaming is definitely I mean in high revenue but even with that being said people are like, no it doesn't change the fact that all this means that mobile gamers are not real gamers and there you have it everybody definitely let me know how you feel about this in the end I I know this is a debate that's not going away anytime soon but it also brings another question it kind of leaks into the whole fgc where the fgc looks at you know melee as not a fighting game even though that technically they are fighting and they've always been right next to us at any tournament basically you can go to in the fgc you see melee or super smash brothers ultimate you know something like that pretty much competing right next to us not only that at e3 they just announced what was it this 4v4 team bleeding edge that's now has been officially revealed and right off the bat it looks like you can see the teams it has like a lot of action going on there's definitely some fighting but 
you know, from the start, people are like, yo, this is not a fighting game either. And then somebody by the name of Cage Spider pretty much brings up a good point. They say, I love how FGC gatekeeps what is and isn't a fighting game. Your hurt feelings won't change that 3D arena games are fighting games. So there it is, man. Let's think about the facts right now. So as far as the debate on mobile games, right? Are those real gamers? A lot of people are like, yo, if it's handheld, you're on your phone, you're not truly getting the gamer experience as far as like streaming and the joystick and like tournaments like as we see it, you know, as we know it in the FGC. And then you have the other argument where people do experience everything I just mentioned, but they're not technical enough like Street Fighter or Tekken um, or Mortal Kombat or anything like that. You know, they're the Smash, they're the Melee, there's this new game that just came out, the 4v4. People are like, yeah, there's fighting, but it's it's not a fighting game. So in the end, is this a real question? Does the FGC gatekeep? Are we are we so far up our own asses that we just need to come down and realize like, yo, at the end of the day, we're all gamers and we're all fighting gamers. So, we, I mean, we should all just kind of, you know, be as one. Or do you think, no, no, like straight up, not to be a hater, but there's definitely a difference in technicalities, in performance, in competition. At the end of the day, yes, there is some fighting and yes, we do, you know, similar things and we are gamers, but it's, it's just not, you know, FGC. So thank you guys for watching. Definitely let me know. Like I always say what is your opinion let's have this talk see you guys bright and early tomorrow morning love you forever peace blah 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 subscribe all right ladies and gents as you know it is ht and i couldn't let you go from ht without putting the h in the t so here it is this is a true story i can't make this up one of your beautiful viewers actually sent me this pic to say hey there's a new energy drink on the market man it is amazing it's better than red bull would you like some i will send you some i looked at the picture and i said hell yes send me some please and without further ado here is the picture the damn energy drink I'm not lying, it's called Pussy. The damn energy drink is called Pussy. It's real, and then seeing that they're gonna give us some, I immediately contact Dirty Load. I was like, yo, we made it. We done made it, baby. We done got to that level where our fans is giving us some pussy. Real talk, that's when you know you made it. That's when people start mailing you pussy and just, I bet that pussy gonna taste so good too. I'm done.